Welcome back to our Psychoactive Plant series. Today we're diving into one of the most historically significant and controversial plants in human history, the poppy, known scientifically as Papaveria somniferum. The poppy plant is a source of some of the most powerful natural compounds, including morphine and codeine. These substances have played a dual role in medicine and in the darker side of history. In this episode, we'll explore the poppy's fascinating history, its active compounds, and how it works, and the complexities surrounding its use. So let's get started. The poppy plant. Papavir somniferum is a flowering plant native to the Mediterranean region, but now cultivated worldwide. It is easily recognizable by its vibrant flowers, which can range from white to deep purple, and its distinctive seed pods. The plant has been cultivated for thousands of years, not only for its aesthetic appeal, but more importantly for its latex sap, which contains a potent mix of alkaloids. These alkaloids include morphine, codeine, and thebane, which are used to produce both medicinal and illicit drugs. While Papaver somniferum is the most well-known, the poppy family includes several species, some of which have psychoactive properties while others do not. For instance, the opium poppy is cultivated specifically for its alkaloid content. In contrast, the common poppy is grown primarily for its ornamental value and does not contain significant psychoactive subs substances. Among Papavir somniferum, there are different cultivars bred for varying purposes, including pharmaceutical production, ornamental use, and culinary purposes, such as poppy seeds. The history of poppy plant is as rich as it is complex. The use of poppy-derived substances date back to ancient civilizations, including the Sumerians, Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, who utilized opium for its paint-relieving and sedative properties. The term opium is derived from the Greek word opian, meaning juice, referring to the latex sap extracted from the unripe seed pods. Opium played a significant role in ancient medicine, but it also has a darker history, particularly during the Opium Wars of the 19th century, where it was a key factor in the conflict between China and Western powers. The most notable active compounds found in opium poppy are morphine, codeine, and thebane. Morphine is the primary alkaloid and is highly potent, making it one of the most effective painkillers known to medicine. Codeine, while less potent, is widely used as a pain reliever and cough suppressant. Thebane, although not used therapeutically in its raw form, serves as a precursor in the synthesis of other opiates like oxycodone and hydrocodone. These alkaloids interact with the central nervous system, producing effects ranging from pain relief and euphoria to sedation. The active alkaloids in the poppy plant primarily work by binding to opiate receptors in the brain and spinal cord. These receptors are a part of the body's natural pain relief system, which also involves endogenous opioids like endorphins. When compounds like morphine bind to these receptors, they block the transmission of pain signals induce a sense of euphoria, and can cause sedation. This mechanism is why poppy-derived substances are so effective in pain management, and also why they carry a high potential for addiction and abuse. Poppy-derived substances have long been a cornerstone of modern medicine, particularly in pain management. Morphine remains a gold standard for severe pain, particularly in surgical, cancer, and palliative care settings. Codeine is commonly used for milder pain and as a cough suppressant. However, the high potential for addiction and abuse has led to a significant amount of research into safer alternatives and treatments for opiate dependence. In recent years, the medical community has also explored the use of poppy-derived compounds in treating other conditions such as chronic pain and anxiety and even depression, although these applications are still under study. The effects of poppy-derived substances can vary depending on the specific compound and dosage. Morphine, for instance, provides powerful pain relief, a sense of euphoria, and sedation, making it invaluable in medical settings but also prone to misuse. Codeine, while less potent, can cause drowsiness and relaxation, making it useful in treating mild to moderate pain and cough. However, both substances can lead to physical dependence, tolerance, and addiction if used improperly. Recreational use of opium or its derivatives is illegal and highly dangerous, leading to severe health risks, including overdose. While poppy-derived substances are effective in pain management, they come with significant risks. Common side effects include drowsiness, constipation, nausea, and respiratory depression. 
The latter can be particularly dangerous, as high doses can suppress breathing to the point of death. Legally, the cultivation and use of opium, pop, opium poppies and their derivatives are strictly regulated. In many countries, the production of opium poppies is limited to licensed growers for pharmaceutical purposes, and the possession and use of substances like morphine and codeine are controlled under drug laws. Ethically, the use of poppy-derived substances raises concerns about addiction, the opiate crisis, and the need for responsible prescribing and use. The primary risks associated with poppy-derived substances are addiction and overdose. Opiate addiction is a major public health issue, with millions of people worldwide struggling with dependence on prescription opioids and illicit opioids like heroin. Overdose deaths, often linked to respiratory depression, are a significant concern, especially with the increasing presence of synthetic opioids like fentanyl in the drug supply. It's crucial to use these substances only as prescribed and under the supervision of healthcare professionals. Additionally, there are concerns about the environmental and social impact of poppy cultivation, particularly in regions where it fuels illegal drug trade and conflict. There are numerous case studies and research highlighting both the benefits and dangers of poppy-derived substances. For example, morphine has saved countless lives by providing effective pain relief in critical medical situations. However, the same substances have also contributed to the ongoing opiate crisis, with devastating effects on individuals and communities. Looking to the future, there is a growing interest in developing new pain management therapies that retain the benefits of opioids without the risks of addiction and overdose. Research into non-addictive painkillers, alternative treatments, and harmful reduction strategies continues to be the priority in the medical field. That wraps up our exploration of the poppy plant, one of the most powerful and controversial plants in human history. From its essential role in medicine to its impact on society, the ongoing opiate crisis, the poppy is a plant that continues to shape our world in profound ways. As always, if you found this video informative, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of psychoactive plants. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.